Not too long ago, a viewer asked me if there were consequences to eliminating villagers at Scalettes in the long run. This is in connection to several mischievous tutorial videos I made, such as how to boost our lockpicking level early, or how to get a full set of gear at the start of the game. Because I am primarily responsible for suggesting these shenanigans, I was compelled to double check what happens if one indeed ends up eliminating its residents. Here's what I found. First, Henry's reputation drops, regardless if we were careful or not getting caught. The more villagers off, the lower it gets. Mine went down all the way to negative 100. I'm not sure if there are trophies related to rep, but at least now you know. Second thing that I found was that non-essential NPCs do not respawn. And by non-essential, I mean those who do not give a quest would remain dead when survivors transfer to Ratai. For example, these two guards, Yaroslav and Yannick. If we got rid of them, they will not spawn in this spot where they're supposed to greet us when we first arrive. Quest giver NPCs like Kunesh or Yuhanka, who I'm quite certain I stabbed in Scalettes, would respawn at their designated location, so no worries about that. However, there's still the outstanding issue of From the Ashes DLC. I haven't tried that myself, but from what I've read, one of its mechanics involved recruiting people for a major restoration project, including the refugees. So yes, there's that. The tutorials I posted still hold up, I think, as long as we remember to only get the set of weapons and armor we need, and only pick locks that are out of view from others. So that, even if our reputation drops a little, it would still be recoverable once we start doing quests for them later in the game. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.